It's a rare moment in Pakistan's politics these days when the ruling PTI, PMLN and PPP agree on anything, let alone come together to pass a person-specific legislation which will have far-reaching effects on civil-military relations. But in the National Assembly, all mainstream parties hurriedly approved three bills regarding the tenure of the three services chiefs, Chief of Army Staff, Chief of Air Staff and Chief of Naval Staff and the Chairman of the Joint Chief of Staff Committee, uncharacteristically without a debate. The three bills are the Pakistan Army Amendment Bill 2020, the Pakistan Air Force Amendment Bill 2020, and the Pakistan Navy Amendment Bill 2020. They are expected to float through the Senate with equal ease, except for opposition from Pakhtunkhwa Mili Awami Party, JUIF, and the National Party. Leader of National Party, Hasil Bazinjo, wrote on his Twitter account, Democracy has died in Parliament House today by the hands of major political parties and so-called champions of democracy. Agar parliament खुद अपने आप को दफन करने के लिए तैयार होता है तो उस वक्त में आप किस जमुरियत की बात करते हैं ये ऐसा जमुरियत है कि पार्लियामेंट मौजूद है सुप्रीम कोर्ट मौजूद है सेनेट मौजूद है असेंबलियां मौजूद है एक चीज मिसिंग है वो है डेमोक्रेसी it was the legal eagle of PTI and former counsel of COS Bajwa, Law Minister Farooq Naseem, that played a pivotal role in ensuring the bills passed without an opposition in the Defence Committee. No dissent. And if you are good friends, then you have to be good. I have taken this point today, that our friends of PMLN, we have said that our friends are good friends of each other. We have to be good friends of each other. We have to be good friends of each other. We have to be good friends of the Law Ministry. वो तमाम पॉलिटिशियंस की तमाम पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज की भरपूर इज्जत करती है हमेशा करती रहेगी और लिहाजा वी आर वन फैमिली स्पेशली पाकिस्तान की सिक्योरिटी या इंस्टीट्यूशंस के कोई अमेंडमेंट्स हैं उनको बड़े दिल से उस पर सियासत नहीं होनी चाहिए the PMLN, who came on vote ko is a do slogan, remained tight-lipped when questioned by journalists what will happen to civilian supremacy when extensions are handed without as much as a debate. PMLN's Khwaja Asif abstained from answering questions of journalists who asked what prompted PMLN to vote in favor. So, do you not understand that the government is making this recovery? This is the privilege of listening to the comments. While PMLN's General Secretary, Ehsan Iqbal, who is now in custody of the National Accountability Bureau, sidestepped questions on why PMLN agreed to give an extension and instead lambasted PTI for not building a consensus on the three bills, leaving to the powers to be to do the groundwork. notification <laughs> पीर के दिन इनके दो बंदे रेस्ट हो रहे थे उसको रोकने के लिए छुट्टी के दिन नैब का ऑर्डिनेंस लाए तरमीमी ऑर्डिनेंस पीर की सुबह सुबह नोटिफिकेशन जारी किया उस नोटिफिकेशन में तो किसी कॉमा फुल स्टॉप की गलती नहीं की वहाँ तो बड़े सियाने हैं जहाँ अपना मफाद है अपने दोस्तों को बचाना है उस नोटिफिकेशन में तो बड़े सियाने हैं लेकिन जहाँ आर्मी चीफ का नोटिफिकेशन था उसको आपने मजाक बना दिया और जहां अपनी कानून साजी करनी होती है तो सबके मेहनत तरले करके कट्ठे बिठा लेते हैं जहां फौज जैसे दारे की कानून साजी है वहां पे आप भक्तियां कसते हैं वो जी जिन्होंने करना करा लेंगे हमें क्या और वजीर आजम जो है वो इस काबिल नहीं समझते कि वो अपोजिशन के साथ बैठे तो ये जो इस वक्त मुल्क पे गैर संजीदा नालायक ना अहल टोला मुसलत है इसने पाकिस्तान को तबाह कर दिया है और मैं हाथ जोड़ के जो इनके सिलेक्टर है उन्हें भी कहता हूँ कि कितनी और मुल्क की तबाही देखनी है द मेन ऑपोजिशन पार्टी पी एम एल एन एंड पी 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 हैड इंटेंडेड टू इंट्रोड्यूस सम अमेंडमेंट टू द बिल बट द लॉ मिनिस्टर टोल्ड दम एट द मीटिंग दैट द प्रपोज चेंजेस वुड रिक्वायर अ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल अमेंडमेंट इन द नेशनल असेंबली द ऑपोजिशन पार्टी डिड नॉट लेटर प्रेस फॉर द अमेंडमेंट एंड द बिल्स वर अप्रूव विद कंसेंसिस सोर्सिस टेल वॉइस पी के डॉट नेट दैट द ऑपोजिशन पार्टी हैज शॉर्ट role for the parliamentary committee on national security for reappointment of the services chiefs and the chairman the amendment required the prime minister to appear before the parliamentary committee on national security to present reasons for giving an extension to or reappointment of the services chiefs and chairman joint chiefs of the staff committee they had also proposed that the provision barring courts to challenge the extension 
should be scrapped with the current bills any extension given cannot be challenged in courts jamiat e ulama islam fazlur rahman group the jamaat e islami and representatives of the former federally administered tribal areas ex fata opposed the bill and walked out of the national assembly declaring the lower house to be fake ptm's mohsen dawar tweeted saying we vote against the army act before walking out this parliament acted like a rubber stamp speaker didn't even allow few dissenting voices to make their case this is one of the darkest days in pakistan's parliamentary history it will take a long time to recover from this well the pakistani parliament today approved uh, the amendment bills in the three services sheets that had been tabled by the pakistani defense minister yesterday after consensus it was approved the bill was approved and uh, today it was uh, it was passed by the pakistani parliament as well now uh, we've seen that the opposition parties including the pakistan people's party and pakistan muslim league nawaz did not object to it however uh, mohsin dawar from the pakistan uh, pashtun tahaffuz movement and jamiat ul fan uh, ulma islam and the, the jamaat e islami abstained from voting in fact uh, uh, mohsin dawar also objected and he tore apart the 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 uh, copies of the bill as well uh, the bill has been unanimously approved as what the government has said and it will be tabled in the senate later today now by the by the bill being tabled it gives legitimacy and uh, the uh, uh, to the prerogative of the prime minister to appoint the army chief and it also extend not just the army chief but but, but all the services chiefs and it also extends the the service tenure by a year and uh, the service age to uh, uh, leading it to 64 years Anas Malik in Islamabad Pakistan for voicepk.net